As aquarists, we spend a lot of time around pools just like these. Ordinarily, we deal with a pretty steady influx of sick and injured marine animals. But not too long ago, we experienced a situation that was anything but ordinary. Imagine these same pools filled with cold stunned sea turtles. I'm talking turtles everywhere. More turtles than we thought we'd ever see in a lifetime, and each one in need of critical care. It all started when a wave of frigid Arctic air caused air and water temperatures to drop for nearly two weeks in a row. Hundreds of sea turtles began washing up along Florida beaches in a state of cold stress, which is a potentially deadly condition. When it first started early January, we got one turtle in, and then the next day we got two turtles in, and after that we were getting 50, 60, 70 turtles a day. What was happening was as these animals were showing up on beaches, volunteers were walking the beaches and they'd find these animals and they would literally bring them by the truckload. A lot of people were finding these stranded sea turtles in the inshore lagoon areas of Florida. A few turtles started coming in, which didn't really surprise us too much, but then a few more turtles came in and then a few trucks came in. It really became a big operation very quickly. Cold stunned sea turtle means that the internal body temperature of the turtle has dropped very dramatically. The turtle becomes slow and lethargic, they'll float on the surface of the water, and they basically shut down all their natural body processes. In this event, we saw juvenile green sea turtles, and then we also saw very large adult sea turtles that we normally wouldn't see in this time frame. It was unbelievable. I don't think I've ever seen that many sea turtles in my entire life. When the turtles first come in and they're cold, they can't move around very well, they can't lift their heads up to breathe. We housed these animals, tried to warm up their systems through heating lamps and blankets, and once their temperatures reached a normal level, they were allowed to enter a water environment, and we monitored their eating, if they were swimming well. Even though most of the sea turtles were simply cold stunned, uh, you know, some of them had more severe injuries that needed extra critical care. The first two weeks, we didn't take any days off at all. We were just here all the time. We were kind of working around the clock in shifts just to manage all the sea turtles that were coming in. We would work about 15, 16 hour days some days and wake up and do it again the next day. We normally we have a few people that are dedicated to sea turtles, you know, 24-7, 365 days a year. But in this case, we needed all hands on deck. We had other departments, like our maintenance department, our water quality department. They were dropping whatever they were doing and come over helping us build aquariums, plumb aquariums, run electrical. Some of the tasks that you don't think about that are essential, as, as mundane as they are, is like doing a lot of laundry. The amount of laundry that's needed for 300 turtles is a lot. They get stinky after a day or two, so those towels and tarps had to be changed every day. I think everyone that stepped in to help us was very excited to get more hands-on with the animals, and uh, we were so grateful to have that extra help. On release day, it's time to load up all the turtles into the truck. We released a whole semi-truck full of turtles within one morning. Releasing that many animals, uh, generally when we release one sea turtle, it's very important and very rewarding. So when you release 40 in one day, uh, it's amazing. The first wave of turtles that were released in Juneau Beach uh, was a very festive event. You're in the middle of it and you're going and going, you stop and look around and you see all these people helping you. It kind of it makes you stop and look and you're like, wow, this is, this is pretty cool. The upside of this incident was that we got to tag a lot of sea turtles that we would have never gotten to tag before. It gave a great deal of information as to where turtles are this time of year, where they might go, and in the future if we encounter them, uh, where they've been and a history on them. When all these sea turtles were coming in, it was a challenge, and we felt, you know, an obligation and a responsibility to help these animals. Any sea turtle we can save is going to help the population recover. This was probably one of the most memorable events in my career. As a whole team, we saw that we could really do a lot. It was just such a great feeling to see all these people coming together and, you know, putting these turtles back in a natural environment. It was a tremendous effort. In a two-month period, approximately 300 sea turtles were rescued, rehabbed, and released by this group of people. A truly phenomenal event.